This is not the first time asylum seekers brought to Australia from Nauru and Manus Island for medical treatment have been targeted. Last year there were protests over the potential deportation to Nauru of a one-year-old baby being treated for burns in Brisbane. Baby Asha, as she was called, eventually stayed. Now the government has told some asylum seekers it will no longer provide them housing and support benefits. Lawyers working with those affected say their clients are in a difficult situation. One of the clients that I was working with was saying, how am I expected to do this by tomorrow to financially support myself? We've left people in a position of destitution. I think ultimately the decent and the humane outcome is that we let these people stay. Of the about 400 affected asylum seekers, 60 were given notice on Monday that they're on a new type of visa that expires in six months and that housing, as well as $160 every two weeks in welfare, will be taken away. What happens after the six-month visa expires is unclear, but in that period the government expects asylum seekers to return to Nauru, Manus Island or their country of origin. Those on Manus, however, say that there's nothing to go back to and that people are being cleared out of the facility there ahead of its closure in October. Refugees on Manus Island have been staging daily protests, fearful of being sent into the community in Papua New Guinea, which they say is unsafe for them. So if they are sending these people back to Manus Island, I am not sure where they're going to host them, these people because... There is, there is literally no place for these people. The opposition says asylum seekers shouldn't be resettled in Australia, but vows to challenge what it calls the cruel welfare cuts in the Senate. Yarabu Moham, Al Jazeera, Sydney.